Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are going through our basic runway class. All right, so we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna talk about posture on the runway. So posture is really important because what you're wearing is what you're showcasing on the runway. And your posture is gonna convey if it's something important or not. And so you wanna have very good posture on the runway. Practice standing up nice and tall. You wanna have your shoulders back and down and your chin even with the ground. So you don't wanna be looking down you don't want that chin pointing down at all towards your body. And you also don't want your chin up so high that it's more pointed towards the sky. It makes it very difficult for you to see where you're going and it just looks very awkward if your chin is up too high. So you wanna have it even and you're gonna be looking out kind of on the horizon. So straight out into a line as you're walking on the runway. So again, this is something where you need to practice your posture by rolling those shoulders back and down, standing up nice and tall, and just feeling a very slight curve in the shoulders, in between the shoulders in the back and in the middle part of your back as well. So nice and tall and practice moving with this posture. You don't have to do anything with it yet, but just practice walking with regular walking with good posture. Next, we're gonna add the heels. So walking in heels. This is obviously very important because most of the time that you're on the runway, you're going to be in heels, even if you're showing casual clothing or swimsuit, very rarely will you be in something other than heels. So it's important to learn how to walk in heels. So one of the things that I think is the best thing to do is start out with some wedges. So this is something that's basically going to give you a platform to walk on. No space. It doesn't require a ton of balance when you start practicing on those platform shoes. And those wedges gives you a nice, uh, a nice height. So it gives you that feeling of being taller than you really are as you start to practice your movements in your heels. Then from the wedges, you're going to graduate with something with a big, thick heel. So you're not gonna go straight into a regular stiletto type shoe. You're gonna go into something with a thicker heel. Again, working on balance. Once you master this and you've done it long enough, you feel comfortable in it, then we're going to graduate to some regular heels. And from these, you're gonna start out a little bit lower at about two inches or so, and then work your way up from there to three and four once you really get a good handle. It does take some time to do this, so don't try to rush through it in a day or two. It's gonna take you a while if it's not something that you're used to doing already. Hand placement is also important. So hand placement, uh, when you're on the runway walking, you're generally going to have your hands down to the side and just moving with your, your body as you move through the runway. A few times you are going to have your hands on your hips, especially if you're posing when you're on the runway. So keep in mind where your hands are to be. Most of the time, they will just be down by your sides, moving back and forth. Otherwise, you will have them on your hips. And then head placement as well is important. As I mentioned with posture, your head is going to be looking, is going to be facing forward only in the direction that you are facing. So your head's not gonna be moving from side to side because you're not working with the audience and you're not playing with the audience like you would uh, be doing, say, in a pageant. This is going to be a more, uh, it's more, it's not about you, so you're not going to be involved with the crowd on this one. So next thing is, if you're going to practice a runway, before you even hop into those heels, is you're gonna practice barefoot. So we wanna practice walking. Runway for your runway walk is, you wanna practice walking on your toes with no shoes on first, and then you'll practice your actual runway walk with the heels. 
and you're going to be practicing with your heels as i mentioned earlier just your regular walk just so you get the feel of them and then you'll bring them into your runaway walk practice so we start out walking on our toes and you want to get that feel of having your your heel elevated the next thing you're going to do is right draw out a line or a piece of tape or if you've got a line in your carpet or a line that you can use in in your room or in your house or somewhere that you have access to easily a, a straight line that you can use as your kind of runway and what you want to do is you're going to cross one foot in front of the other it's kind of like walking on a tightrope or maybe like a balance beam it doesn't have to be super narrow but you want to be able to be cross one foot in front of the other like you're walking that tightrope type feel but your feet are not going to be touching it's going to be a regular movement as you keep moving forward you don't want to cross your foot in front of the other so far that it goes over to the side you want one foot literally in front of the other so you don't want to move them too far um, over as you're crossing because then it's going to be a very uncomfortable um, movement and it's going to look very awkward and it can cause you very easily to lose your balance if you push your foot too far one way you lose your balance and you can fall over or lose your balance on that side the next thing you want to do once you've learned mastered walking on on that tight rope or on that line that you've made or, or a piece of tape that you've put out the next thing you want to add is to add uh, to make it into a runway so you can either use uh, like long dowels and make a runway about two feet apart from each other so you want the runway to be about two feet wide and you want to walk in between these sticks as your one runway you want to learn how to walk on a smaller space so that when you have bigger space you're still going to look amazing to be able to walk down the middle of that runway and not look awkward and not uh, move to one side or the other you'll learn how to walk in a straight line without veering off unless you have to walk around another model so that's why it's really important to to focus on first walking on that line of tape that's going to set you learning how to walk straight and then once you add those sticks you can continue to walk in that straight line within a small confined space those two feet that you've given yourself between the sticks and that way you'll be able to to practice the the movement of walking in that straight line the next thing that you want to do is you don't want to have a lot of bounce in your movement or too much shaking of either your head or your arms and in order to to take that out and to practice taking it out you want to put either you can use either a, a, a flat wooden block or you can use a, a book that's not too heavy you want something that's flat and that's going to stay on your head um, and practice walking with that on on your head as well right now in this beginner class we're just working on on the walking part of it we want to get that part done um, before we jump into some more advanced movements so practice walking on that line of tape so that you can continue to walk in a straight line and then you're going to add those sticks and that will really make your walk very strong when you practice walking between those sticks and then once you add that book or wooden block onto your head it's going to help you to more control your movements and make it a really nice beautiful fluid walk hopefully this video will help you guys out as you get started in your runway class and guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel we've got an intermediate and an advanced class coming up so subscribe to the channel and sign up for notifications so that you'll know when those new videos are coming give me a like on this video if you have any questions about runaway walking leave it in the comments down below i'll see you soon